Are you in a flower painting mood? Well, today you're gonna learn how to paint some gorgeous, colorful roses in an easy four-step technique anyone can do, even complete beginners. By the end of this video, you'll know how to paint roses in any color you choose to add to your own project, and also how to paint them in a pretty vintage style bouquet. So let's get started. The first step is taking a simple pencil and sketching in your rose shapes and bouquet. The rose shapes are essentially simple circles. The next step is to have three piles of paint on your palette. The top is cadmium, cadmium yellow medium or any paint color of your choice. The second is cadmium yellow medium with a bit of burnt umber to darken it up um, or you can use any dark brown you have. The third is cadmium yellow medium with a bit of titanium white to lighten it up and those are gonna be our highlights. So next I'm gonna pick up a small round brush. Um, I'm using a size six here but any small round brush will do and I'm picking up some of our um, main rose color which here is the cadmium yellow and then we're going to add our first rose layer which is the first step in our rose technique. I like to add a small dot to mark the center of my rose before beginning and I also like to have it a bit off center so the rose will look more 3D in the end. So for example if I want my rose to point up to the right I'll add my center dot more top right from the center. Then I use small comma strokes that are a bit staggered and overlapping each other, working my way from the center of the rows all the way out to the outer petals. So I'm going to be zooming in to show you a closer look at these strokes in just a couple of seconds, but I just want to mention that these strokes um, don't have to be perfect. They don't have to look like perfect commas. Um, they can be a little bit asymmetrical and that's going to be totally fine. This is just the first layer and so you don't have to worry about getting the, the strokes perfect. Uh, the one thing we do want to focus on though is getting that circular pattern with slightly overlapping strokes um, and that's going to give us that rose shape um, and the petals that are overlapping. So you're going to continue with these comma strokes all the way to till you get to the border of your sketch. Um, and that's why using that sketch is really, really helpful because it guides you to that shape, that, that round circular shape, and also shows you where your rose ends and where the border is and where to put those outer petals. Now for those outer petals, they're gonna be slightly different than the comma stroke. They're gonna look a little bit more angular. So when you look at a rose um, from the top, you'll notice that the outer petals are looser and they kind of form the shape of a triangle. So that's what I'm gonna mimic here. I'm gonna use the border sketch and I'm gonna paint in really wide triangles along that circle. And that's gonna give us that shape of those loose um, rose petals at the outer edges. And that's pretty much it for our first step of our rose. So before moving on to the next step, let's take a look at what a rose looks like. So this is just um, an imitation rose I had laying around my house and I used it to help me guide the shape of my roses. So as you can see, the outer petals are a little bit more of that triangle shape. So that's why I added that into my painting and I added the outer looser petals to look more triangular. That's just a little tip I do when I start a painting as I look at a reference object or a reference picture to make my objects look more realistic and so I can make mimic what I actually see with my eyes and transfer that as much as I can onto canvas. So the second step to paint our rose is to add in our shadows. So we're going to grab the same brush, our size 6 round brush, and we're going to use the same comma strokes as we did in the first step, but we're going to fill in the white spaces between the, the strokes from the first step. So I'm going to start again in the center like I did before, and I'm just gonna try to fill in as best I can. You don't have to be perfect here. They can slightly overlap and that's totally fine as well. But I'm gonna do my best to uh, try to get in between the strokes from the first step and try to cover as much as that of that white in between the strokes as I can. Now this color might look very dark when we apply it in this step, but in the later steps, we're actually going to layer um, an even lighter color over top, and it's gonna give us a really nice shadow and a depth to our rose. So don't be scared here that it's looking a little bit too dark. We want it to actually uh, have a quite a bit of a contrast between the first layer of petals and the color in the second layer. Um, and that's what's gonna give us that depth in the later steps. The third step to paint in our rose is to add highlights. And this is really going to make the rose pop. Right now it's looking really flat and two-dimensional and adding this step is actually going to bring the, the rose 
more to life. Using the lightest paint on our palette and the same brush, we're gonna, we're gonna use the same comma strokes on our rows, but instead of this time starting in the middle of our rows, we're gonna start the midway point uh, between the, the center of our rows and the outer petals. The reason why we wanna leave the middle of the rows um, without these highlights is because it's gonna give an extra illusion of depth when it's done. And just like in the first two steps, we don't have to worry too much here about getting the comma strokes perfectly symmetrical or looking exactly like commas. Um, it's gonna look really good in the end because in nature, things are not perfect and they're a little bit asymmetrical. So um, it's gonna look great. So just go with the flow. As long as we have that flow of uh, petals that are going in a circular overlapping um, uh, pattern, that's kind of what we wanna aim for. But in terms of perfection and getting each of the strokes perfect um, don't worry too much about that it's just it's gonna look amazing in the end one thing to keep in mind in this step is we want the shadow color and the main color which is the cad yellow to, which we did in the first two steps we want those to still show through in between these strokes uh, so try not to cover all of them if you can but if, if, for example you do uh, I'm gonna show you towards the end of this of this video of how to fix that our rose is definitely getting there. It's looking a lot more dimensional now and a lot less flat in 2D with just that simple addition of our highlight strokes. So now what I like to do at the end, you can definitely leave it at this point, but what I like to do to give it an extra pop, an extra layer of dimension is to add a tiny bit of white. So I take a, a, a little bit of titanium white on my brush and I just add a few, um, I outline a few of the outer petals with the titanium white. You don't want to take the white and cover the whole petal it's just the edges of the petal we want um, just the border of them with a little bit of titanium white um, and you don't have to do all of the petals on the all of the outer petals of the rose you can just do it on a few and that's fine too or if you want to add them on all of them you can add that too I'm going to show you towards the end um, I've made basically two of these paintings. One, I added quite a bit of the white to um, a, a lot of the outer petals of my roses and some, and the other painting I did just a few here and there and you can see the difference. Um, so it's just def definitely, it's, it's your personal preference of what you like. So I'm gonna show that to you towards the end of this video. Another little tip for this step is to wait for the layers below this, um, below the white to dry before adding the white on top of it. Here I didn't and my highlight layer below is still a bit wet and the white when I'm applying it to the edges of my petal, um, it's kind of blending in with the, that lighter yellow. So if you can try to wait for your, your rose to fully dry and then do the highlight, the white, pure white highlights over top, that would probably work better, which is what I'm going to do for the re the rest of the roses. So for the rest of the roses, I'm going to do the three steps and then the final layer of the titanium white I'm going to do at the very end. I'm just gonna speed up the video just a bit for the final four roses, but I'm using the same four steps to paint them in. Um, if you wanna see it in a little bit more detail and slow down, feel free to slow down the video. And then we're gonna come back, once the roses are painted in, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to paint in the flower stems, sorry, the rose stems and the rose leaves. And finally, our nice pretty pink bow.
As I was mentioning earlier in the video, I'm now going to show you what to do just in case you covered a little bit too much of your shadowed layer um, with the highlight layer. So here you can see in the top left corner um, with my yellow rose, it's um, the shadow. You can't really see the shadow in between the petals as much. So all you would simply do is take your brush and um, add in some of that darker shadow paint or, or um, in, in that we did in step two and you're going to add it in between the petals so that it's just going to make the highlight the highlighted petals pop even more and that's all you really need to do once that's done and you're happy with the amount of shadow you've added into your your rows then you can um, lightly go over it with the the final highlight step and the titanium white if you want but you can leave it at the step if you'd like as well all right, we're on to the final step of our roses. So here I've waited for the paint to fully dry on the canvas uh, before moving on to this step because it works best when the paint doesn't blend. So just make sure all the paint is fully dried before moving on to this step. And all I'm doing here is I'm taking the same brush I used in the other steps and I'm taking um, titanium white and I'm adding it just to the border of the petals. So I'm not covering the whole petal with titanium white, it's just the um, outer edges of, of the petals. And and also here you can choose if you want to add the titanium white just to the outer petals of your rose or you can do all the petals of your of your rose all the way to the center it's up to your personal preference and what you like best I really love adding this final touch into um, paintings I find adding just a little bit of titanium white to the highlighted areas of your painting just gives it that extra pop and dimension and it's just a simple little trick that can bring your painting to life. Now we're going to move on to the rose stems. So on my palette I have three versions of green and I've used hooker's green to create the other two versions. So I've created the top one is hooker's green, the, the middle one is hooker's green with a little bit of titanium white and the final uh, blob of paint is hooker's green with a tiny bit of burnt umber. So I have the I have a medium tone, I have our highlight tone and I have our shadow tone. So what I'm doing first is I'm grabbing, um, I'm using uh, a quarter inch flat brush here and I'm grabbing the darker shadowed uh, green and I'm just going to create some some long stems starting from the rose all the way down towards the bottom of the canvas and just using some downward strokes to create those stems. Once you're happy with the amount of stems you've added in, you're just going to take some of the light green color and you're going to add in some highlighted uh, uh, rose stems in your bouquet just to give it that extra depth. Now we're going to move on to our rose leaves. Now before the step I went ahead with a pencil and I sketched in where I want my rose leaves to go but you can definitely do it ad hoc and you don't have to sketch them in. I just as personal preference it just makes it easier for me to paint them as I go when I have a when I'm working with a sketch. So to paint them in I'm using the same round brush as I used with the roses and I'm going to use a mix between the the top green color and the bottom green color so your your pure hooker's green which is at the top and then at the bottom is our shadowed color which is our hooker's green mixed in with a tiny bit of burnt umber and I'm just going to be using a mix of those colors to fill in my roses sorry rose leaves.
For the final step, we're going to be adding in our pink bow. So in terms of paint color, I've uh, used a little bit of the magenta pink and mixed in a little bit of titanium white to make it a little bit lighter color. And I'm just at using the same round brush as we used for the roses. And I'm going to be adding a ribbon around the uh, rose stems. And then I'll add in my bow attached to that ribbon. So this rose bouquet painting is extra special for me because I'm going to be gifting it to my mother and mother-in-law for Mother's Day this year. Um, this year we won't be able to celebrate as we usually do, so I thought, why not paint them a rose bouquet? That way they can have it forever, they don't have to worry about watering it, and they're flower gals. They absolutely love colorful flowers and roses, and I hope they enjoy this. Before we go, I just want to show you the difference between my two paintings I made, as I mentioned earlier in the tutorial. So the one on the right, I added a little bit more of that titanium white around the border of the petals, and the one on the left, I added it very sparingly. And as you can see the difference between the both, the one on the left, you can see more of the rose color show through, and the one on the right, the colors of the roses are a bit more muted. Thanks so much for watching and hope you enjoyed this rose bouquet painting tutorial and watching our beautiful roses come to life through each of the four steps we did. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and if there's a special person in your life you'd want to paint this for. And until next time, keep painting!